and I met Shane McAnally, my idol, and I tapped him on the shoulder and said, hey, would you mind listening to some of my stuff? And he agreed, and that's kind of where all this really started to get moving for me. A lot of people are like, oh, you busted out the moves late in life, but if you ask Lainey, she'd be like, nah, he's that embarrassing guy on the dance floor that's just just fearlessly, shamelessly out there shaking it. Usually if we go to a wedding, even now, I'm sore the next day from just bouncing and, and getting my swerve on. So yeah, love to dance. I feel like most people might know that, but um, maybe not everybody you know that comes to the show. It was only like seven years ago, I was stocking produce there um, from four to about 10 or 11 a.m. just to make money to feed the kids. That was my, that was my job. So yeah, worked at Costco. They were gracious to give me that that uh, work, and um, I'm always grateful. I still love to shop there. It's awesome. It wasn't like a mixer or a show or anything that you would think. Uh, I had just gotten off of work at Costco, and I met Shane McAnally, my idol, and I tapped him on the shoulder and said, hey, would you mind listening to some of my stuff? And he agreed, and that's kind of where all this really started to get moving for me. So. Thanks to Smoothie King, thanks to Shane McAnally. A lot of people, you know, getting to finally see who Lainey is now that I've got a lot of fans. I know she's got a lot of fans and I love it because she's been by my side for a very, very long time. We met in 11th grade, took her to a monster truck show and that was it. And um, yeah, we were on and off again a lot, but um, in 04, got married, moved to Nashville. So yeah, high school sweetheart, still going strong. My kids, uh, it's fun. I make them all memorize the lyrics to The Impossible Dream. It's a very inspirational song from a, a like a Broadway play called Man of La Mancha. And uh, I make them memorize that and in return, I make a small investment in their dreams. And none of them have really like, only a couple of them have asked for that investment, like for me to come forward with that. But you know, some of them are still kind of figuring out what they want that to be. So I'm a big fan of investing in people's dreams. And uh, yeah, I make they all, if you ask them, they know the words to that song. I like cats. I think they're cool pets. I know they're moody or whatever, but if someone's in the room just says, hey, I have a cat or a cat has been here, all of a sudden I just get all choked up and I'm like, I'm gonna die because I'm allergic to cats. Right now, my kids, my sons especially, are kind of into it and we kind of bond out there. But I skated as a kid, uh, got me a board about eight years ago, and now now I'm, I'm back in, in full strength, so skating. So yeah, love it. I had never written a song when I moved to Nashville. Uh, didn't even, honestly, just thought all artists wrote their own songs. Didn't even really know you could get paid to do that as a job. So I think that's kind of crazy because most people I meet here they're like, oh, I was writing songs when I was eight years old. And I, I was like, I didn't even know you could do that. So yeah, first song, 23, I think. I bet you that's gotten faster since I've gotten older, you know, glory days. But I was pretty quick, quick kid, especially with the long distance stuff. And um, yeah, I loved running. And I, I just, that was like kind of my claim to fame. I guess if you probably talked to some People I haven't seen in high school, they'd be like, oh, that dude, they used to run every, all the time. 